it's so much fun to hide painted rocks throughout the neighborhood and at the park. Um, let's paint some rocks and let's go hide them and see if anybody will find them. First, go on a walk and then collect some rocks as you're walking around. Look for kind of smooth ones. Um, you can get different sizes. You can get a whole bunch that are sort of the same color. Um, but if they're smooth, it will help to paint them, make it a little easier. If you can't um, find rocks, then you can always buy a bag of rocks too. Okay, so get all your rocks ready and then we wanna protect the table. So put down like a grocery bag or something like that. Then you need a paint palette or you can just use a paper plate, something to put the paint in and mix it with. A few paint brushes. And you know what else is really fun is make sure you collect some paint. I think acrylic paint is a good choice. You can pick all different colors, whatever you like. Think about what do you want to paint your rocks as. They could be fish or trees or feathers or you can make your favorite characters. Also a good thing is some paint pens. These are markers, both paint in them. Okay, and then mom and dad will need to use either some outdoor Mod Podge or some spray sealant if they don't want the weather to wash away your design. Okay, first let's paint a friendship rock like this. It's so fun to do. All you need is a paper towel and you're going to um, fold the paper towel in half a few times. So you can make a whole little family of heart, little friendship rocks like this. Make a whole bunch of them and then put them all around your neighborhood and see who finds them. Um, I promise it'll make your neighbor smile or the postman smile or um, the lady that walks her dog by your house all the time. <laughs> let's, let's plant a surprise. Okay, so get that paper towel and uh, fold it um, in half a few times. What we're doing is we're making a little pad like that. Okay, and then pick out whatever color you want your little hearts to be. I want to do red and squeeze a little drop of that paint on the paper towel. Not too much. And then you're going to take your thumb, oh, well, yeah, let's find which rock we want to put it on. Pick a rock. <laughs> okay, make sure your rock is clean and dry. And then take your thumb and kind of press it into the paint and so that your thumb has kind of got a little dollop of paint on it. You want it to be covered and kind of thick. And then gently press your thumb on the rock. And then get more paint on your thumb and press it again the other direction. And this will sort of make a heart shape. Okay. And then if you have other rocks you want to do, if you want to make a whole family of rocks like that, do that now. And then when you're done, wash your hands. And then we want to set aside our wet rocks and that, that has wet paint on it. Let it set aside and let it dry. It's important to do the trick with the, with the paper towel because it gives you a thick enough coat of paint. If you try to do that with a paintbrush, it's too thin and you have to do it a bunch of times to build up the paint. So we'll just set this aside and let it dry. And in the meantime, let's work on painting something else. Okay, let's see. Let's get our paint palette, or you can use a paper plate and some white paint. Now you can use whatever color you want, but if you want to paint on a rock, paint a design or something, um, it helps to paint the, the rock a different color first. Gives it a kind of like um, making your color book page white first. So um, you don't have to use white, you can use whatever color you want, but just take a good sized paintbrush and paint light colored paint all over the surface. Now some rocks are kind of bumpy like this one. See all the little holes? So if you have lots of little holes, you can't get the paint in there, you push the paint up and down, paintbrush up and down like a stipple, and you can push the paint down in there. Now you don't have to hold the rock, you can put it down on the table and paint it like that if it's easier. Now. Painting the rock this color, and then we have to let it dry. Now you could paint it whatever color. It could be yellow or blue or green or whatever color you want the base color to be. But it's important to let it paint dry in between coats so that um, you can then color on top of it. So here's a rock I painted with one coat. And see, it's still kind of streaky. And here's a second, another rock I did. And this one has two coats all dry. See how there's no streaks? Well, that one will be much easier to draw and color on. So when your first layer dries, like this one's dry, go ahead and do a second coat of your base color paint. And that white color is going to make it easier for um, me to draw or paint a design on later. Okay, so let's set aside the white, the wet ones. 
and then we can paint some more. Okay, so I'll set those aside so I don't touch them and clean off your hands. Okay, now this white one that's already dry, I want to paint a ladybug on top of it. So let's put a little bit of red paint in our paint palette or our paper plate. I'm going to get a little bit of a small paintbrush and a little bit of the red paint on there. And to make a ladybug, I need to paint um, either a red circle or a red oval on top, depending on how big of a ladybug you want. If you want an oval, I think it's helpful to draw a line first and then make two half circles around the, li the line. And that helps me make an oval. But just get more paint as you need to with setting the, ta the rock on the table on top of your paper and then paint your red oval on top of that. This is so much fun. I wonder what you'll paint. I could paint a spider on here instead of a ladybug or a grasshopper or a butterfly. Here's a rock that I painted yellow, just like I painted the white ones. I painted this one yellow. And I wanna make this into a bumblebee. So I'm gonna use a paint pen. You gotta help your, your mom will have to help you get the paint pen ready by shaking it up and pressing it up and down on some paper until the paint comes out. And then, you just like using a marker, you can draw the paint onto your rock. So on this yellow rock, I'm painting stripes to make it look like a bumblebee. And then I colored the head all black, and now I'm going to draw some little black antenna. Antenna, yeah. Now it looks like a little bee. It's cute. Okay, now we have that black pin. Let's go back to our friendship rock with the heart thumbprints. And I'm going to use the black pin and trace around the heart very carefully. Making sure it looks like a heart now. And then I can give it little arms and little tiny feet and little legs. I just think it's so cute. I wonder if I should put the little heart family all in the same spot in the neighborhood or spread them out. Also with the paint pen, my circle on my white rock has dried or my oval has dried, so now I'm gonna trace it, just like I did the heart. This, remember, is gonna become a ladybug. So I'm gonna trace the outline of the red oval and then I'm gonna draw a line right down the middle, sort of to separate it and it helps it make it look like wings. And I'll also draw a black circle on top and color it in, and that will be the head of my ladybug. And I'll give her two antennae. Using the paint pens really helps um, to have control. Paintbrush can be kind of hard to keep it to keep a straight line, so the paint pens are really helpful. Okay, then I'm going to get a different color paint pen. This is white, and I'm going to draw on some, I'm choosing to make my ladybug have white dots. Of course, in real life, ladybugs have black dots, I think, but you can make it however you want. You could draw flowers on your, on your rocks, or you could um, write a nice message, like have a good day. Um, you could draw designs make a whole family of little ladybugs. Oh look, I did some hearts. Painted two red hearts and then I outlined it just like I did the ladybug. You could write a message. Here's my Valentine message. Okay, and here's another rock that was shaped a little bit like a triangle. And so instead of painting it white or yellow, I painted it blue, but sort of in the shape of a heart a little bit. So now I'm going to use a white pen and I'm making little white dots all the way around the close to the edge of where my blue paint is. And making dots is a really fast and fun way to, to create art on your rocks. 
And then I'm going to pick a different color of pen. And now you can write a name on the rock if you want to. Or a message. Or you could draw another picture. Whatever you want to do. I'm going to make this rock for Eli. Okay. Now I want to show you a fun idea. I've, scored, I've put a little bit of blue paint in, on my palette and a little bit of white. And I'm going to take my rock I already painted white. And I'm going to get a little bit of white paint and I'm going to brush it on half of the rock so that it's wet. Then I'm going to get a little bit of blue paint and paint that over top of the white, letting the colors sort of mix and blend together a little bit. And then I'm going to keep doing that until I color the whole rock. And what will happen is it'll look like the colors have faded or blended together. And I get sort of this fun, like, streaky background look. Just a fun way to make it two colors instead of one. See how I'm blending the colors together? By only pushing the brush halfway across. Yeah. So see, you could do your favorite colors if you wanted to, or maybe you have a favorite team and you can make it the team colors. You could paint these rocks into frogs, or um, birds, or feathers, into puppies and kitties. <laughs> Whatever you want. You could make them into little cars. It's your imagination. Now we need to give our heart a little face, so I'm going to draw two little black polka dot eyes with my black paint pen and a little mouth. Now you can give him a little expression. He's a happy heart. This is so fun. Okay, now when you're looking for rocks, look for different shapes and sizes. I found a bunch that were sort of this long, narrow shape, and I decided that they kind of look like cactus shapes. So I painted them green and then used paint pens to draw little pokies on them. So see, it looks like a little cactus group. Now if you want to, you can paint your rock on all the sides of it. This was fun. I can't wait to go hide these in the yard or at the school. I like to walk my dogs around the school. Where do you like to walk? Hmm, I have one more rock to paint here. I'm going to put some cute little, um, like a scallop shape on the edge of this rock that I painted the different colors. So I'm going to use a paint pen to draw like little half circles all the way around the edge. You can get paint pens in different size tips to make different size lines. And now I use um, a wider one that is black and I will write a message on top of this cool rock that I made. There's lots of rock painting and hunting groups. So um, you can look for Hashtag Vancouver Rocks if you live in the Vancouver, Washington area or whatever city you live in and you'll find there's a whole group of people, lots and lots of people that love to paint rocks and to share them. And to, you just put a few of your painted rocks in your pocket next time you go for a walk and then you can stick them around your neighborhood or wherever you go for people to find. If you want to seal your rocks, use either Outdoor Mod Podge or a spray sealer. Um, Parents should do the spray sealer in a ventilated area. If you're going to do the Mod Podge, I'm going to use the outdoor one. It comes out white, but it dries clear, and you just brush it over your painted area of your rock, and it dries pretty quick, and it'll dry totally clear. And that will protect your art from the elements of the weather. So like I said, it comes out a little bit kind of white and cloudy, but it will dry clear. And it just puts a little clear protective coating on your artwork. If you choose to spray them, do it outside and in a um, maybe use an old box or something to set the rocks in and paint them.
I think it'd be fun to do, um, find a big flat rock and paint it like a lily pad and then paint small rocks like and make them look like frogs and stack the rocks on top of each other. Or in the fall, you could do pumpkin rocks. Okay, go hide your rocks, go have fun. Thanks for watching.